<clears throat> it's the book of Second Ezra, chapter six. I'm going to start at verse. I'm going to start at verse 6 and it reads, 2 Ezra 6 and 6. And it says, Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other book. So like it, by me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Verse 7, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Call Lord, my Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, that's what I found. I want to say double honors to my apostles, to the elders of the great nation, who teach and do real well. I want to say peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the prison to do so, now more so than ever. Tell the one to the Akim and the Aqua through listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Tell the one to the Israelite life foreign instead of abroad, in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, for whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. It's the brother Yawasab. Coming at you another lesson through the spirit of the Father's And uh, pretty much, uh, I was at work today, and like I, you know, I mentioned in the video prior um, about, you know, the Lord sent me to this job. I had a job, and I believe I understand why the Lord moved me. Other job, it was, a, you know, a few Northern Kingdom worked there. It's a lot of Edomites, and, you know, like a mixture of Jake, Esau, and you know, Jake, Northern Kingdom and Southern. And um, I ended up, like, through the spirit being moved to this job. And I'm the only Southern Kingdom in the job. <laughs> I'm the only Southern Kingdom. And it's a few different Northern Kingdom brothers in there. So long story short, um, the one Jake, he was up there. He, you know, I forgot how, how we got into the conversation about the Bible. But he was asking me questions about the Bible. He was like, you want to know and hear what I got to say. So it was funny because I'm trying to watch where I say because where I'm at and all that. Now, mind you, we already getting these goofy ass looks from these Edomites. And, um, they told us some silly shit about like how once you get hired into the job, pretty much to get hired in, your pay rate goes down. So I wasn't really paying no attention to it. I really didn't think nothing of it. I don't really I like jobs where I don't have to really like socialize with people. You know, I'm off in my own little world anyway, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, most people can't relate. You know, brothers can't relate. You know, brothers, you know, can understand me more so than, you know, these people in the world. Long story short, though, um, it's a small company. So, um, you say some little goofy shit like, oh, yeah, once you get hired in, you're going to be making, you know, they, they pay this much. And I'm like, I didn't think nothing of it. But then as me and one of the, because I worked with two Northern Kingdom brothers. So, um, you know. I didn't think about it at the time. And then when he spoke on it, I'm like, well, that don't even make no sense. That means that the temp agency, he would be better off going to get people at a homeless shelter or some shit like that because the temp agency, he paying probably double of what we're making from the temp agency to the temp agency. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, I didn't really think nothing, nothing of it. But me and, you know, the one Northern Kingdom brother, he went basically called. I told him I was going to send him something. So pretty much I was going to send him the playlist of the GMS Spanish Brothers. Uh so I did do that, and he didn't show up to work today for whatever reason. I just even texted him, and, you know, I don't know, you know, you know, like once you hear the truth, it could do two different things. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I pray that brother's all right if it's the will of Yahweh Shem El Shai. But nonetheless, he was up there. Pretty much they lied, and I did a video about it because it was like pretty much Esau's, you know, superpower is deceit. This devil lied, and I'm pretty cool with the temp agency lady, so I brought it up to her, and she pretty much checked him, and he had to tell me some goofy shit, you know, but long story short, you know, his two superpowers is that gun, you know, you know, that sword, and um, his lies, and his lies are being exposed now, and that's why you know he's going to come down with great ref with that sword, but, um, you know, I was thinking about
So lock you. Um, <laughs> Satan busy than a motherfucker. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I was just thinking about, like I said, you know, um, the situation because today they wanted to, uh, you know, they basically was having a conversation, the, the two Edomites, and I guess they were talking about, you know, experiencing the, the hard times. And I found it funny because, you know, you devil sitting up here had the choice and the best of everything, but now, you know, because of the times and what the Lord has planned, they catching hell, you know, and they wouldn't make it seem like, you know, they're going to tell, oh, well, you know, like the one, one Edomite, he, an uh, older Edomite, so he pretty much talking about he was trying to apply for social security, but some, somebody said pretty much like, you know, it's being denied or, you know, like he catching hell, and I found it funny, and then the one Edomite, the younger Edomite, you know, he up there like, uh, he, 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 he up there like, um, pretty much he's always been, you know, low income because he only makes like thirty thousand a year. You know, not just like I said again. I found that funny because now these devils is you know experiencing you know hard times. You know, scriptures talk about evil and only evil behold has come. You know, everybody catching it. The difference between Jake and Esau is Jake used to pretty much struggling. So right now, you know, that's actually um, what's the word? That's actually a benefit to Jake you know what I mean because you know if you used to the struggle it ain't gonna be as hard for a person that never experienced it you know and we ain't seen nothing yet so you know I just thought, thought about a few different scriptures because you know he they basically after these motherfuckers just lied I mean they having the conversation right in front of me in earshot as if like we all on the same level or now nah, you can relate or we you know and that's what these devils gonna think like when shit get real bad, you know, you got, um, so lock it. Um, what I was saying, um, basically they're trying to make it seem like we all in the same, you know, like, like, um, they was talking about those hell's angels is pretty much going to. Uh, go to war with um, you know those Venezuelans that gang and truth be told that's not the case you know uh, you know they pretty much gonna you know um, so lucky like, yeah, so again like I say like um, I forgot who made the statement but pretty much how Pretty much when these devils see how dire the situation is, they're going to expect Jake to pretty much band together. You know, um, matter of fact, that was um, when they was talking about what's going on in Chicago. You know, um, I think it was on Redacted and pretty much talking about how Jake was getting into it with, you know, the migrants, you know, which, you know, we got firsthand information. I was listening to the elder Malcolm and he was going into pretty much, you know, you got, you know, Jake pretty much, um, you know, having skirmishes with, you know, the Venezuelans and whatnot, but he said he's seeing more so, you know, them clicking up and really, like, kicking it. <laughs> he said, you see it, uh, Jake with the Venezuelan, Venezuelan women, the Venezuelan women with Jake, you know, Venezuelan men with um, Jake or, you know, you know, the Israelite woman and vice versa. So, you know, but, you know, Esau got to paint this narrative because pretty much, you know, especially, you know, the um, Joe Schmo every day, um, 12 six pack, you know, Edomite. He pretty much, you know, he said the only thing he had as a privilege was his, you know, his complexion. Because like I said, he doesn't have, um, you know, the monetary um, stability that the elites have. And he's seeing pretty much, you know, he saw, you know, his government, you know, pretty much helping these migrants more than they're helping them. <laughs> so, you know, and again, they pushing this this energy of civil war, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's coming. Sooner than later, for real. You know, I forgot what politician made that statement about pretty much it's going to have to inevitably be a civil war. So, you know, again, those 12 or six-pack um Joe Schmo, Edom, Esau, Edomite, you know, they two-time losers, you know, so, 
you know I just thought of a few different scriptures because at the end of the day these people were being brought and put in a low position it's the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and starting at verse 1 and it reads come down and sit in the dust O virgin, o virgin daughter of Babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt be slacky for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate verse 2 take the millstones and grind meal uncover thy locks make bare the leg uncover the thigh pass over the rivers thy nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame shall be seen I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man so you know this place is being exposed for the horse you know the whore it is you know this place is being exposed for the wickedness that's been perpetrated here this place is being shown and exposed for how weak it is you know the whole world is, is, is laughing at Babylon the Great you know that's why you got a nation like North Korea that's just doing what the fuck they want <laughs> and, and, and Babylon the Great trying not to provoke that little, little you know rocket man <laughs> book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and it reads I'm going to start up this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and I'm going to start at verse 1 and it reads and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to my to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, thy power have driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, and all thine heart, and with all thy soul. Because basically, we living in that time now where, you know, pretty much, you know, Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord put Jacob, you know, in different nations you know you got individuals that may appear like those other nations but are israelites you know that's not hard to understand you know it just literally said you know which i was said before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the, the lord thy power hath driven thee the lord drove us to these different nations in order to cover and hide who was israel because if this devil knew who all the israelite was he would pretty much be coming down with great wrath now, you know. He's trying to exterminate Jake, you know. First, he used Jake, you know, as free labor, you know, did all these atrocities to Jake, and then ultimately he's about to try and enslave them or completely destroy them, you know. Take the time to think about it. When you go into that Karagma or that C hip, that device has the ability to control you, you know. When you go into the whole um, with the C hip and the bull, he, that that technology, the beginning of that technology, they was able to control the bull from like the bull was charging. It was actually able to stop the bull from charging. It says that then the Lord by power, that then the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, thy power have scattered thee. And we're seeing that now. He's bringing brothers back to one another. You know, I've had an opportunity to visit it, the to visit the beloved brothers in um, Chicago and you see a very diverse group of brothers there. You know, it's not all the camps that can actually say that. Chicago, California, and I've, I've had the opportunity um, and a blessing to actually visit both of those camps and see that, the, you know, both like the northern and the southern kingdom together. That's a beautiful thing. Verse 4 If any of thine be driven out on, onto the outmost parts of heaven, from this will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Verse 5 and the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. 
and thou shalt possess it and he will do these good and multiply above thy fathers. So eventually, you know, scriptures talk about how the Lord going to put us back in the land, not these devils, you know. You know, not the Balfour Declaration. You know what I mean? Verse 6, And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shine thy power, will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shine thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul, and that thou mayest live. Verse 7, and the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So, the scriptures talk about the Lord pretty much taking these curses off of us and putting them on our enemies, which we're seeing now. And, and, and an example of that was the, them devils whining about what they going through. You know what I mean? I thought it hilarious. Them devils was crying like, oh, yeah, we catch a hell. You know what I mean? You ain't caught... You ain't caught all the hell you go. I mean, like, you ain't seen shit yet. Like, the Lord just getting started, you know. That's just a taste, you know what I mean? <laughs> a sip, you know what I mean? Wet the, the, wet, the, wet the tonsils, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord about to fuck you crackers up. So, again, that curses are falling upon our enemies, you know what I mean? You know, now they're struggling, you know. Now that, you know, scriptures talk about how um, curse be thy basket, you know. Scriptures talk about how, uh, you know, Jake put money in a bag full of hoes, roughly paraphrased. Well, now you got Esau experiencing that. <laughs> and like I said, it's beautiful. Like I said, I found it funny, you know what I mean? Like, these same devils literally was up there trying to, and like I said, I mean, I'm glad to have a job, and it's not a complicated job, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm just literally like something easy, you know, and something to do, you know what I mean? But, like, for the motherfuckers that hate, I can see if you hate this, a, Thirty dollar hour job, you know what I mean? I mean, we we dealing with boxes. This motherfucker was so, you know, I almost said something smart to him, but the Jake, the Northern King brother, was like, you know, pretty much, he was like, you don't want to, you know, fuck up the job, because you know, the dude literally tried to patronize me by talking about you got to hold this this, this this way. We taping boxes, and you know, you got to because the, 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 the way that they like pretty much to secure what we put in the boxes, they kind of like shrink wrap it and, and suck the air out of it so it's sealed tight so it can't like once you like they double boxes so once you know it's in there hopefully if it's damaged it can't it won't damage the product inside of it and this devil up there literally talking about i almost said you old fat bitch and then like it was funny because i worked with one northern kingdom brother one day and then no two days and then the other northern kingdom he started friday i started wednesday the, the one Northern Kingdom brother started Tuesday. I started Wednesday. And then the other Northern Kingdom brother that didn't show up today started Friday. And they both, through the spirit, said something about this cracker. And I'm like, damn, that's the spirit. Because I'm like, that's funny. He's saying he, his spirit come across like he a pedophile or he like a weirdo. You know what I mean? And then the other Northern Kingdom brother said the same shit. I was like, y'all in the spirit. Because I wouldn't be surprised. You probably right. You know what I mean? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter um, chapter 1, and verse um, 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And I just brought that up because although, you know, this applies to Jacob, you know, but, you know, this, this applies to Jacob because of the fact, you know, when we go on the highways and hedges, we basically trying to get the attention of our people. You know, I told you, Jake walked up to me and was like, well, what's my purpose being out there? And, you know, our purpose is basically to, you know, try to get our our, our, our people to come back, to turn to turn away from this failing society and come back to the, the Lord, the, the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, but whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh meaning he is, or he exists by Hashem meaning in the name. Yahweh Shah means he saves or he delivers. You know, before the coming destruction, you know, this is, the, you know, this is the times of mercy, you know, because like I said again, you know, when the Lord unleash this hell, unleash this hellfire, you is not going to, you know, like, man, it's going to be bad. You know what I mean? Just, I'll, I'll be sitting and, you know, you look at that shit carnally, you know, uh, you know, and I, I, you know, we've, you know, certain brothers, you know, a lot of brothers, even if you just was never really in the streets, but you grew up in the hood, you know how that shit, you know, th th what type of things happen 
when you and you know in the hood or whatnot. Well, just imagine that fifty thousand times worse because you got like um, brothers was breaking out. As I just so happened to be in my 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 yayan and uh, saw the brothers from Cleveland camp and they was uh, talking about you know I mean, like how Northern Kingdom got a different spirit and he right. You know, Northern Kingdom, you know, these Venezuelans, you know, they so used to poverty. You know, like if you look at their prisons, you know what I mean? It'd be just one big ass cell room. And they, they have different gangs that be basically beefing with each other to the death, all in the same pot. Like, I think that's um, South America, the jail that they got, like they got them in one big ass open spot. And they don't have no mattress that they sleeping on a cold, a cold slab. On some like some inhumane type shit, you know. I remember in our county jail, they would have a picture of you know South American jail because um, you know, the, our county is fucked up. But you know, they they say compared to the conditions of there, you know, that's that's like Beachwood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Beachwood jail. Be, the, you know the suburb jails, they'll feed you McDonald's and you know high class food. You know, county you ain't get no shit like that. You get you don't know what this shit is, mystery meat type shit. They'll let you know it ain't pork, but you, you, how can you trust the devil? You know what I mean? Like, like we used to call that shit sweat meat. I could never eat that shit. I'd get that shit away all the time. You know, I, I remember when I was being uh, foolish, you know, you know, not applying the scriptures. I used to go to jail for some goofy ass shit and the Lord would let me out. But then I do something goofy again, put me back in there. Uh, but long story short, I would never eat that shit. I, I would get that shit away. So the point is, point is the Lord is gonna laugh at it like he laughing at these devils now you got a lot of devils taking a beating you know you seen these videos or TikTok and YouTube motherfucking these anybody's break it down it's so hard life is so hard that shit is hilarious <laughs> and the Lord are laughing at these fucking crackers do individuals like brothers like me brothers laughing at that shit because that shit funny you know what I mean you know Esau used to laugh at Jake fucking hanging from trees. I can't wait to the, the, the I'ma laugh at when they, they, they when they babies dash against the fucking stones. Lord coming to judge this fucking cracker. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. Starting at verse. This is um, Hebrews 12 and, and, and verse 15. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of the Most High, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and that by many be defiled. You know, that's why it's important to, if it's issues within the brotherhood, brother's supposed to hash that out. They supposed, you know, you gotta get that off, off your chest. You gotta get, get, get rid of that. Because that bitterness, it, it'll grow to the point where, you know, th you know this, this this sacrifice that brothers are given, you know, it, it has to be a perfect sacrifice, just like Yahweh Shah was. You know, we are doing a righteous thing, but, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, you can't bring anything worldly into this thing because it's a spiritual thing. And yeah, it's going to be schisms, but, you, you know, at the same time, you know, all division is of the Lord. That's in the scripture. Division is of the Lord. You know, Lord said uh, you think I can't bring peace, but I came to bring division. That's within the camps. That's what the, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, what I'm learning is the Lord even uses tests with the brotherhood to see how you're going to react and if you're going to apply the scriptures or you're going to be, become carnal. You know, we're going to get tested all the way up until we pretty much beamed up on the chariot. Verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person. And when you go into that word profane, it's basically outside of the temple. Esau is, you know, a carnal man. So everything he's going to approach, he's going to approach it carnally. That's why he's trying to put a carnal device within you. You know, yeah, you got a spiritual mark, you know, of exemption. But it's a physical mark that's going to defile you and basically destroy you. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Do you know he was the firstborn? The firstborn spiritually is given the best, and, and, and like he he gets all the possessions of the of the father. 
Esau gave that up for something carnal, and that shows you everything he's going to approach carnally. The Lord gave, you know, the world into a carnal man's hands for a moment to bring forth, you know, his will. Because at the end of the day, this um, MOTB is pretty much a, a, a test. I should have, I was gonna bring that out, but I forgot to bring it out, you know. Pretty much about the, uh, you know, devil, the wine mourner and, and the people languishing, you know, because, you know, everything is fucked up to the point. With this devil in control, you got devils up there complaining. <laughs> you got devils up there fucked up complaining, struggling, hurt, but hurt, through, like the elder of uh, <laughs> Yahshua Wabba says, Esau threw, they threw. <laughs> <laughs> through they ugly <laughs> the elders said they ugly <laughs> ah shit this is the book of uh, Job chapter 20 and verse 10 I'm gonna start at verse um, I'm gonna start at verse 4 No, knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. So right now it seems like these devils winning, but you know, because, you know, again, I just did a video recently. I mean, you know, I, I went to go do something at the game, stopped trying to call myself making some money because I found these games. And uh, it wasn't enough to even make no money off of it. So I, I went ahead and bought me a fucking game, you know what I mean? And I ain't played a video game since like last year. I think that was last year. So I beat them one game. But anyway, long story short, it was either last year or the beginning of this year. But long story short, uh, and this Edomite bitch was in there, and she up there, I mean, I was like, damn, these motherfuckers really ain't in trouble. Like, people struggling. This bitch up there like, well, she bought this buying a little fucking devil, like a whole PS5. She like, well, we only going to be in the car for like 20 minutes. You know, that's what, to, 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 basically just to entertain her little fucking demonotic son. You know what I mean? I was like, damn, you know, because everybody taking a beating, but she, you know, but this is only for a moment, you know what I mean? You know, they seem like they having their way, but I wouldn't, you know, what's that in the book of Psalms, chapter 73? You know, um, envious of the uh, 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 of the wicked? No, fuck that. I wouldn't trade, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade my hand for, for the devils. If you gave me $10 million right now, <laughs> I'd take the $10 million, but I ain't going to, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Lord, keep them where they at. Says, through his excellency mount up to heaven to the heavens and his head reach up reach onto the clouds yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yea he shall be chased away as a vision of the night you know like I said the scripture tell you in the book of um uh, Obadiah that pretty much the most high is going to completely destroy Esau Edom you know Verse 9, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Verse 10, his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. You know, talking about reparations, and you know what I mean? Even with these devils now, just show you the mind. You ever had a motherfucker talking shit, and then when you get serious, then now they want to play and act like they're your friends? No, bitch, you like keep it that same energy that you had when you was up there trying to make fun or whatever the fuck you was doing, you know? You know, a nigga just beeped at me. I'm trying to do the video. Nigga beeped at me. I'm telling this nigga to go. I slow down. He he do something. And then, you know, being that he, so I, I I get over into the other lane. He pull off in front of me. He like, damn, Jake. You know, I was, he didn't say Jake, but he like, damn, you know, you had time to go. And I'm just looking at him. So he see the look, I guess. I, I don't even know how I looked at him. Because I was going to say something smart. But, you know, Spirit didn't have me say nothing smart because I was in the midst of the video. Whatever I, how I must have looked at this nigga, this nigga literally stayed away from my car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that show you how many spirits out here. You know what I mean? Like, literally, this nigga went another nigga, and this nigga looked like a thug. Whatever the fuck I looked like when he just saw me, this nigga, and then bent another corner. That nigga stayed, like, four cars away. And I'm talking about, it's just me and his car. He four cars away, and then this nigga bent down a, a side street. 
Because anything liable to happen, like the brothers was bringing out, uh, you know, the funny part is about with the, the Shaw High School reunion, motherfuckers got shot. And the thing was, I was going to do a video on it. I happened, I didn't even know about the reunion, and I went to Shaw. <laughs> but long story short, I'm on my way just riding and didn't realize they had, you know, if you've ever been in East Cleveland, East Cleveland is very small. So the main street is like Euclid. So I'm not realizing that this shit is going like that. And then when I get up there, I see the police and everything is like, it was so congested. And I was going to do a video on it, but I forgot that I had it on a live. I'm thinking I'm just screen recording. So I stopped the live. You know, I had been in my yay yon a little bit, but I was going to do a video on it. So to show you how cold it was. And then brother say like 10 people, or six, I think the news say six. But you know, six is, you know what I mean? Like that's a spiritual number. Judgment. So, like I said again, these devils think they, you know, they gonna be able to relate, and you know, we all gonna click up together. No, brothers is in the spirit. You know, that's the spirit because the elder just did a video about like, um, the, well, the elder, the beloved elder apostle Tahar, as well as the elder apostle Kabar did a video. Um, he was basically, um, how does it, how's it worded? Pretty much, um, don't be yoked onto unbelievers. Roughly paraphrased. And then I know Elder Apostle Gabar's video is roughly uh, or titled, um, you know, you won't see GMS doing that folly. Yeah, I mean, you know, like brothers, like, I mean, you know, although I'm no longer part of the camp, you know, I, I wouldn't associate with nobody in the world. I, You know, <laughs> brothers know me. I move a certain kind of way, you know, even dealing with women. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I can't stand a nigga bitch. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm scarred from some shit. So, you know what I mean? I don't want to even tempt the Lord or tempt myself. I'd rather head and, 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 and do a transaction. <laughs> Call it what you will. I know I ain't gonna get in no trouble like that. You know, like these hoes fucked up. And then the Lord be putting a little demonic spirits fucking with me. Like I said, the Lord, like my brother told me a long time ago, he said pretty much the Lord, you know, you really don't fuck with nobody except for the brothers and your family. So Satan only could come a certain amount of ways. You know, you know, my 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 my, my uncle, he used to be a big time, you know, we man and um you know, funny part is we didn't know it. You know, I found all this out after he passed. But long story short, they were saying how he only had like five people he dealt with. Because pretty much out of them five, the only five people that could tell on him. So he gonna figure out who told on him. You know what I'm saying? Scripture say, never let your left hand know what your right hand do it. Um, I didn't know that was a scripture. You know, <laughs> my brother always used to say that, but that's in the Bible. So yeah, this devil's time is, is running short. This is the book of Obadiah. I'm going to end the lesson with this. Obadiah. Chapter uh, 1. I'm going to start at verse 15 and it reads. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Yahushua is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return unto thee upon thy own head so the things that you've done the most high god is a perfect balanced power so get, that's why revelation 13 said what it said those that kill with the sword those that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword that's the balance it says verse 16 for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain so shall all the heathen drink continually yea they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been now that's matching up with the scriptures. <laughs> Completely obliterated. You know, that nation of people. Now that spirit, you know, the elders believe, which I believe because energy cannot be destroyed, you know. You know. Pretty much like th th those those spirits gonna be out here, but you know, as far as a, a Edomite, they they will cease to be. They will cease to be. Verse 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. That's that's a beautiful scripture right there. Because I, I just read something, I think, in Hebrews, talking about the Most High God, he cannot lie. I think it was in Hebrews chapter 5 or 6. Just read it earlier today. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And that was spiritual again that me and that northern kingdom brother both experienced these crackers trying to literally, like, like just, you know, now I sent him the videos and I don't know how his spirit took that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And the house of Esau for stubble, 
and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai have spoken it. So yeah, these devils, these red devils, which are red in appearance, not white, are going to be destroyed. These red Hebrew Edomites. So I'm going to end the lesson with that. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Elohim like Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem I say double honor to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and do rule well. I say peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but who subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. I say Shalom, Shalom, and Kwam Yashar Allah.